Welcome everyone to exercise number 9b, which is constant or which will cover the um, problem of doing a relationship or creating a relationship between two tables. In the prior video, we have concentrating on creation a join of the creation of a join. In this, we will only do relationship. So let us assume that we would like to, or we have the information about, yeah chemical investigations on each of these pits. Here you can see a shaper called pit 75. Mm. And on each of these chemical um, analysis the concentration of a metal were determined. So what is the object in this case? The object is um, that you have one um, chemical um, analysis and the concentration is the attribute of that. So um, in our case the uh, to do a join is not useful due to the fact that in the resulting table of the um, investigation you will have one side like one pit and several objects like several chemical um, chemical results. So in the first hand, what we will do now is we will create. Uh, we will have a look if this information is already available. In the pro pro uh, project, we have a bookmark called Lower Mississippi Mississippi River. I think. Well, let's have a look. Yeah, Lower Mississippi River. We will concentrate on this area over here, where this pit is right in that lower Mississippi buffer region. So we will use the identify tool as you may already know. Oh we have created the or we have created a selection of the topmost layer or we have identified this one. There's no information about the um yeah um about the concentration of metals or some other uh, chemicals and elements in the soil or water itself. So, um, but first of all, I would like you to use the um, view of selectable layers to create only uh, or to make only the pits layer create uh, selectable just by clicking on this is uh, on, on this on this little image uh, whether it is selectable or not. Um, so once again we can make a selection on that. Well just this side is now selected and we can um, deselect all features. So what we will need we will need the corresponding table of the chemical analysis. Um, we uh, can add that like we have done in the prior video just by using add data and in the table of contents for um, our source which is available this is now listed here and as you can see you can open it and it has the information about each site given by the ID number and the ID number is the same as the ID number in the PIT 75 layer the metal whether it was a soil sample or water sample and the corresponding concentration um, in the soil. So th this is um, this is the other table here in this case. Sorry, but it's late in the moment here in Germany. Um, so uh, what we will do is we will relate these both tables to each other. Therefore, just mark the original chevron, right click, and go to joins and relates. There's actually there's no join available because we have opened the new project, but we will create a new relate. So first question is choose um, or why why not a relate and not a join? Well, in this case, we have several objects in the target layer or in the target table, which is the metals table in this uh, project, and we have just one object in the source table. So um, this is. Often the cause for uh, often the often the yeah this is quite normal for relate for a late relationship um, so we will establish a relate um, 
and this is particularly useful if there is a one to many like in our case or many to many association between the uh, layer which are um which will be related so what we'll use is we will not use the fid we will use the id number and we will go to the metals table and well we have the same uh field here in the metals table so we will create also a new name for that which is called metal or metals analysis and click on ok so let's check once more the attribute table zero selected well the attribute table is still the same but there's a layer uh, related table available so what we will do is we will choose this tool to get a selection of this pit here. Now we have selected one pit. Let's go back to the attribute table. We can see one out of 606 is uh, selected. Go with that and what you can do now is you can have a look on related tables. And now you can also toggle the selection or toggle the view of the selection but what you can see now is that there are four samples uh, where barium and zirconium or whatever this element is called like um, the concentration of these elements was determined in soil samples so you have the uh, corresponding concentrations um, what we will do now is we will have a look on the on another side called site number two. So site number one was this area we have worked in. So we will go to site number two, where there are two possible areas. And what we will do now is well, let's have a look on the book again. Choose this point here go to the attribute table this is the pit go to the power corresponding table and barium and zirconium as well were determined um, the last um, usage or the last question in this book is where are um, how many samples were taken for for um, PB? Well, I don't know the English word for that. So plum bum, or more or less um, Blei in German. Um, so where? How many samples were taken, and where are these samples? So what we will do is we will go on, or we will go another way around. We will go on the metals open the table we will um, toggle the selection none of them should be selected and we will go with uh, select the attributes due to the fact that we can have uh, or that we will have the information about the metal we can get unique values and we will choose as the same as this value here we can use apply go back to the show selected records only and now you can see there are just three sites this this and this one where um, this type of metal was determined in its concentration in soil samples so what else can we do we can click once more on the metal analysis pits 75 now we only see here these three pits which were involved and what else can we do? We can choose this zoom to select it or right click here to zoom to um, the selected. Oh no, this one, zoom to selected. So what is now shown? I will close that. This, this, and where is the other? There is the other. Are the three areas where you have soil samples taken to determine the element concentration of PB. So uh, you can easily create a map out of that, store that information as well. Um, you can also use the um, data function here, data export data, and use only selected feature 
to get a better understanding and a better uh, better representation of these three very specific um, points or pits uh, and store this information in a new shapefile but be aware that the related table won't be exported as well so the relationship is um, a relationship just for this project here and um, is stored of course in the project but it's not stored in the shapefile for itself thank you very much for watching take care goodbye